Good morning, crafters, and welcome to uh, Hunky Dory. Where I forgot where I was. Welcome to Hunky Dory TV, and happy Monday. There's a, there's a band in there somewhere, isn't there? Happy Mondays. Oh, I love the Happy Mondays. Happy Mondays are brilliant. They're northern. Well, you've already heard who she is, so I may as well introduce her straight away. Uh, it's Natalie, everybody. Good morning, Nat. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, I'm good. But slightly tired. Slightly tired, yeah, because I am one of those crazy UK people who stays up to watch the Super Bowl. Woo! Um, not just because it's the Super Bowl, but me and Dad do follow the NFL. We watch it most Sundays, so it was exciting, actually. It was a, a very, very good game. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've seen tiny highlight bits. That's all I've seen. So uh, I've seen little, little bits, but it was meant to be quite amazing, wasn't it? It was. It was a very good show of just how amazing Tom Brady is. Well, there we go. That gives you, if you, well, hopefully we're not giving away who won. No, we never said um, anything. Did you watch the Super Bowl at home? Please do let us know. Uh, it's crazy late in the night that we that you have to stay up and watch yeah. it over here in the UK. You do have to have a pre-nap. You do have to have it. Natalie had a pre-nap, she was just telling us. Uh, my name's Dan, I'll be your host for the hour. We also have the wonderful Emily with us today. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. Ah, good morning. And it is a live launch on our craft show Monday morning. Uh, 10 a.m. It's lovely to have you here with us. Uh, we've got a few things to go through. We're going to start off with our brand new Win It Weekly. Ooh. Who would like <gasps> to be in with a chance of winning a trimmer? What a mega prize. Isn't I it cool? I didn't even realise that was the... Oh, my gosh. Honestly, really I was reading, pleased with this. reading the things as you picked that up, and I was just like... This is the best prize ever! Guys, we are going to give away five of these trimmers oh. and we're going to give them away on Friday at 10 a.m. in our Thank Craft It's Friday show. So, um, trimmer, what does it say about it? It says it's lightweight, it's got a portable design, it certainly is. Um, it's phenomenal for trimming, it will trim your adorable scoreboard without a problem. Uh, you can get spare blades for them as well, so that it's long, long lasting. It has a super arm that comes all the way out. You can sort of see on that bit there, arm that comes all the way out so that you get... You, what can you go up to? Good 12 by 12? You can go hey, up to got one. Let's have a look. 17 inches this wow. way. Wow. Um, it has to be, I think it's 12. Yeah, so it has to be 12 this way. But this way it can be 17 That's inches. That's massive. Amazing. Uh, I know that our A3 Adorable Scorable is back in stock, guys. So uh, your A3 Adorable Scorable, you'll be able to trim on this as well. Yep, it fits in here perfectly. Okay, what you want to know, I'm sure, is what is the question? How can I be in with a chance of winning one of these? We give away five. Uh, we would like you to like and share our video, if you will. We would love you to. Uh, and comment with this, the answer to this question. Which country consumes the most chocolate per capita, per person, which country consumes the most chocolate? Is it A, Switzerland? Oh, this is tricky, because Swiss is, chocolate. It? I was thinking that, and then Germany. Germany is quite close to Switzerland, mm -hmm. and their chocolate's amazing, but then I was also thinking, like, how much chocolate do we eat, people? We Come eat on. a lot of chocolate. We eat loads. Just in this office, do you we, know could, what's really, we do. It's terrible. We could do, do you know what's that. really weird? Um, outside of the UK, people aren't into Cadbury's. No, I know. No, you know, they, they think it's like quite bad chocolate. Like, but I love Cadbury chocolate. It's yeah. really good. What's your favourite type of chocolate? That's Ooh, what yeah, I want to know this morning. Us, Don't get me wrong. with that question. You've got to, you've got to answer this, uh, this question. Which country consumes the most chocolate per capita? Is it A, Switzerland, B, Germany, or C, United Kingdom? I would love you to put, after, whether you're voting Switzerland, Germany, or United Kingdom, What's your, your favourite chocolate. What's yours, Dan? Do you know what my favourite chocolate is? Easter egg. Not even like, uh, not a brand, just just the just egg. Just Easter egg. Because <laughs> the egg is a different type of chocolate, isn't it? Is it's there mad, but any it's... better chocolate than Easter egg? Just just that, that thing where you get it and you just go doosh, and it just goes thunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's coming soon. It's Love coming Easter soon. egg. It, honestly, they're, they're, they're in the shops already. I was quite surprised by that answer. It's crazy. I thought you would be more specific. Oh, really? Yeah, with oh, like no. a Cadbury's chocolate Easter egg? I'll be bra, like a chocolate bra. A chocolate, a chocolate bar. bar. <laughs> a chocolate bar. <laughs> Natalie hasn't been sleeping. She's talking about chocolate bras. Um, okay. A little bit more. Okay. Reminders. With Valentine's Day just around the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check out the hub for some inspirational card makes. If you would like to make your significant other or indeed somebody else, somebody new. Oh. Maybe there's someone new in your life. Could be me. 
Please don't Maybe send not. cards in for that. Um, please, please do. It'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> send cards in for the bald old man. It'd be great. Um, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, check out the hub for some inspirational card makes. Jump on the hub, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Um, there's some lovely inspiration for you there. Uh, we've done Win It Weekly, so we would like now to introduce, because it is a craft show, believe it or not, we would like to introduce you to our brand new little box. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our three new little books. We have in the middle the little book of kittens. Um, very cute kittens, very I'll show you that in a indeed. second. We have the little book of fairy tale cottages. Let's go there, the little book of fairy tale <laughs> cottages. It's really hard. Back it's really front. difficult, it's so isn't hard. it? You thought we'd learn by now. And we have the little book of musical instruments. Uh, there are three little books here. Uh, if you want the bundle, with, you want all three of these, it's 19 um, and you do get your club discount off that, guys. Uh, there are 144 pages in each of these three little books. Let's start you off with the little book of musical instruments. So I'll just very quickly show you what little books look like. Um, we'll just come to it in a second, don't worry. We'll show you what these little books look like. So 144 pages of 150 GSM um, paper with gorgeous designs on. And I'm going to show you through each of these designs very quickly. You get a number of each design. That's six of each design. And we've just matted and layered some onto some Miri card just so that you can see how easy it is to turn these into toppers. Uh, so if you just take a leaf out of the book and they just pull straight out it's uh, bound at the top um, with glue but you just pull them straight out and you can pop one straight onto a piece of miri card or indeed we do miri mats uh, which which are uh, just like you can see here and um, you get 16 different designs in this and you get six of each of them and so you can see straight away you've got the pianos there's a lot of string instruments in here i've noticed uh, absolutely beautiful guitars here is that a guitar that's a guitar isn't it i don't know my string instruments very well is that a violin? That's a guitar. Is it a cello? Or is it a cello? No, that's, that's, I'm making them up. That's definitely one of those ones that stands on its. Yeah, it's a cello. That'd is be it? a double bass. People at home will know what these but are. Sheila will be watching this. Sheila and will be screaming at us. Honestly, she'll be like, disgusted with it. Right, now, that is Sheila's instrument. That's um, a sax. Sheila has a sax and plays a sax. She does. She's going to bring it in and play it for us sometime, you know. We're really excited. <laughs> uh, it's your special day, so dance like no one's watching and sing like no one's listening. No one would want to listen to us sing, would they, Natalie? No, or no, watch us dance, to no, be honest. No, it's not, it's not good. But this is lovely. So this is on, on the uh, sort of matte finish, uh, similar finish to our inserts that we use. Very, very pretty. Love the harp, or harpsichord. That's the, uh, the full name, isn't it? I just think this is really pretty, isn't it? And I like the little foliage that you've got sort of everywhere around here and the the hidden detailing with that swirl swirls around it's it's very pretty Let's and it suits all says. different ages i think as well with this one music gives a soul let me just turn it here music gives a soul to the universe wings to the mind flight to the imagination and life to everything how was plato said that he knows what he's talking about I love the record players Love the music notes throughout, obviously the treble clef there, as you can see. As Nat says, all this, uh, the foliage that goes with it, it, it works, it shouldn't, it's really but it really nice, does. It's really nice, isn't it? It yeah. gives it more of like a, a rustic -y vintage feel. Um, I think this would be really nice for someone who was into music as like wedding, something to do with like a wedding favours or little things that you could have on the tables, bits and pieces like that. Because um, it is really quite funky. It's lovely, isn't it? Love the old gramophones. I'd love one of those. Oh, tapes. Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes. And kids who have no idea how a cassette tape and a pencil go together. My dad's got into buying cassette tapes again at the moment. Is he really? Yeah, it's Excellent. weird. Oh, we go that way, yes. 
lovely. So there's some landscape ones in here as well. Now what you're going to find in a minute with our little books, there's some really cool stuff coming up. There we go, the piano, the harpsichord. So there's um, where you get a few sort of collage together, different instruments. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job of this here. There we go. Oh, microphone going that way. There we go. Microphone. So for a singer, perhaps. And then we've got a couple of these backgrounds. I love so these. They're so versatile. They're really, they, really good. They allow you to sort of get more creative with your cards as well, which I love. We've got sentiments as well. So this is brilliant because the little books have slowly but surely turned into something where you can make full cards because they've Definitely, got coordinating yeah. and matching sentiments, which is lovely. Guys, if you want to decoupage these up, you can do because as I said, you get six of each sheet. So you can layer them up, you can fussy cut them, you can do whatever you like. Uh, that is our first one, that is musical instruments. Now I'm gonna show you the little book of fairy tale cottages. Oh, this one's just This is fun. Delightful. It's very, very different. Very, very different. Look at this. So again, we've just popped them out, pulled the sheet out and popped it onto with a bit of double-sided tape uh, onto a piece of Miri card like that. And you just get that lovely gold border, which turns it into a foiled topper, doesn't it? But these are brilliant. Great. Aren't they fun? I love them. They have a really sort of European feel to them with the types of houses that are in here, I feel. <gasps> so but that's a, a watering can house. Amazing. Isn't it brilliant? You, you've got so many different styles in here. Um, it's so fun and the fact that they're all just like encapsulated in these little flowers or you've got sort of like blooms everywhere Love is delightful. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Basically, I just want to live in this little village. It would make me happy every day to wake up in a house like this. It would, wouldn't it? Every day. But you'd have to be really little and that would be fun. Yeah, it'd be we like, could, be like, like Alice you. in Wonderland. I could have like potion that I take to shrink down at night you could. and then take some in the morning. Or I could just be little all the time and cause loads of mischief. You could be little. <laughs> or it's like a Natalie the borrower. It'd be super cute. Um, home is where you where you hang your heart. There we go. Some nice sayings on these as well. Lantern there. Home is my happy place. I love it that. is, isn't it? It's so true. There's something about being at home. I like this one as well with the let's stay home because you know, it's so in right now, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Do you know what? When when uh, when you have those busy days and you put the lock on the door, you have like we have one of those those not locks, what they call chain. You yeah. Put the chain on the door and you say no more jobs. Not doing No more jobs. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's nice when people come round. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> we we like visitors. We're not going to lock not you at out. The um, let I the like adventure that's begin. Cute. So for a new home, that's perfect. Love it. It's really different, this. There's no place like home. Love the boot. It's super, isn't it? Do you like these guys at home? You let us Absolutely know the little book these. of fairy tale cottages. So these books are £9.99 each, um, although you can get th any three books. And it is any three books, little any, books. Yeah. Uh, so you can go into our back catalogue. We have a load of little books on the website. Um, uh, we have square little books and we have A6 little books. These are the A6 size. Whoa, oh, I love this. So you get different mini versions of the houses that you can cut out. And I think this is really cool as well if you want to do some decoupaging or maybe sort of make your own little village um, in your cards because you can cut them all out. They're all sort of different sizes and then you can have them on top of other ones. It's really cool. Isn't that lovely? So the little book of fairy tale cottages, you mix and match between any of the little books that you like and indeed the massive number of little books that are on our website. Lilac Moments I've got here, Springtime Wishes that's just come out. Yes, that's Little Angels, one. Mum Mantras, Ballet, which is beautiful. Um, Forever Flora's Hydrangea, there are so, so many, but we've got one more little book to show you and then we're gonna jump across to Natalie and she's gonna do a magical demonstration for us. Uh, which one are you gonna demonstrate first, Nat? Um, I'm not sure actually. I'll probably do the musical instruments. Actually. Oh, very nice. I want one prepared for all. Okay, so this is the Little Book of Kittens, an A6 book. Uh, we'll just take some of the, because the rainbow shimmer there is we've bat matted these onto rainbow Miri card, which as you can see, just has every color in the world on it. Love the, the kittens with the balloon, kitten with the balloon there, um, which reminds me of Up, the movie Up, which yes, is a lovely movie, super isn't cute. it? D does anyone else cry at Up? It is very, it is a little oh, sad. Oh, it's quite emotional, isn't it? Look at those kittens. Very, very cute. I love the colours in this. So it's, this is softer. Our lights will be washing this out slightly so it's, it's, this will be a little bit more strong when you get it at home. Uh, just the right strength of colour in it. Uh, love them in the welly. 
playing around in the grass with the butterfly there. Oh, cats are so wonderful. We've got a cat at home called Rupert. He's an absolute star. Love that. Really nice. Another, another bucket. Cats, very cute. What is it? Cats sleep anywhere, any table, any chair. It's a super poem, that, isn't it? Love them. Really, really cute. I missed one out there. I do apologise. They I are. To, I have to pick up all adorable. these. Adorable. Aren't they lovely? Very cute. Look at him. Go that way. Yay. Got it right. I'm getting it right today. Which way to go? <laughs> Very cute. Love the sentiments as well. So you get sentiments with these. You're also going to get Element small sheets. kittens to chop out, to trim out with the welly and so on there. And then backgrounds for you to layer them up on. So that you can create your own little book of kitten scenes. Yeah, very, very cute. Create them straight so away. Those are our three new little books available today on our website, honkydorycrafts.co.uk. You can get all three of them together for £19.98, and you do get your club discount off those. Or you can mix and match and have three for two on any of our little books on the website. Uh, let's go across to Natalie and see her first demonstration. Okay, so I'm gonna do a a five by seven for this one but it's going to be a tenfold and we're using the music notes and I've selected a couple of sheets now we've obviously got the sentiments in here I think we're going to use the guitar and then I've got these that I might just add in to create some decoration but then I've got a few of the background panel sheets here as well so we're going to start off by extending this background panel because um, I want it to be used in my background now these are a little bit big for what we want to do. Um, can we do it this way though? I can probably, let's have a look here. So I want this to fit as a five by seven. So I need to stick them down like this, first of all. So let's do. So we have a question, Nat, uh, about which is Matastic. It's the musical instruments one is Matastic, guys. Uh, and the little book of kittens and the little book of fairy tale cottages are both our gorgeous satin finish. Yes. So if I lay this both sheets down here like that, I obviously want them to overlap slightly. But then I can trim this bit off here. And I know that that's going to be five by seven. And then if I just flip this over, we've instantly created that mat there using, um, so you've got a lighter bit in the middle and a darker bit around the outside. However, it is a bit too tall. So first of all, I'm just gonna stick this together. So let's just put some tape on here. Cause I want that outside edge to kind of fit in my five by seven. We might need to add some, um, a little bit more some more elements on here to be able to hide some joints but it's not a problem so I'm going to just line this up with the corner of my mat and make sure that this lines up with the seven so because you've got multiple sheets uh, of each mm -hmm. you can start doing things like this like tiling them and so on yep and you can make sort of bigger backgrounds and bigger cards and different things and so on and so forth um, and then what we're going to do, because I want it to be five, is I'm going to take this corner and we're going to put it at two and a half. And then I'm going to flip this around, do exactly the same. And it will look a little messy, but because you've kind of got that overlapping paper anyway, when we do stick this together, it's not going to be super obvious but then like I say you can put anything that you have included in your other pages on top of here to sort of stop it looking so um, tiled. tiled and mismatched and put together but it just shows that even though you have a6 card blanks like I don't really think like this side's perfect this side is a little bit off but if we get some ribbon and I think we do have some brown in so this. This is a very clever way to, to sort of hide. And this is what crafters do. Yeah. To extend things. And what I know we do. you do this quite a lot, don't you now? I do. Um, because it's just um, so much more easier and you can use your pages to a, a better advantage. So that is 
probably and we'll stick that down but I'm just going to put my elements together that we're going to go sort of on top of here first um, because I was going to do this this way around but now if I put my page on here it's going to look a little bit off so we can have our guitar this way so let's do some fussy cutting and uh, I'm going to use my scissors here and I'm not going to fussy cut sort of all of it because it would be super take forever to do that I'm just going to cut around my flowers I'm going to leave off that foliage that you can't really see once this is cut out we're going to cut that guitar away so now Susan says do we do the a6 gold card to fit it to we do so those are the miri mats which are um, on our website if you type in miri mats miri is m-i-r-r-i -R -R -I. And then mats, as in uh, a cat sat on the mat. Yeah. Miri mats, and uh, you get um, how many? How many sheets? Oh, Emily's got them up on screen now. This is brilliant. Do you get quite a lot in a pack? I think. Emily's just looking for me. So we've got other screens in in here in the studio. You see that we can see things on. So she's just checking. A hundred sheets. sheets. I thought you got a lot. But so like... a hundred sheets, and you can either have them in rainbow in gold or in silver. Joan says she's loving the little books, especially the music one. There's a lot of love for the music one, actually. It's very pretty, and I think because it's on Mattastic as well, it just adds that little bit extra. I was going to leave this on here, but now I'm deciding. I'm just going to trim. People seem to be saying, A, Switzerland in our Win It Weekly. There's That's lots what we of different chocolate, um, brand, uh, chocolate brands that I saw on there, which was nice to see. Lots of different people liking lots of different things. Okay, so I'm using my scissors. I am going to just get my knife out in a minute though, just to cut those sections off. But using your scissors with your little books is so um, much more easier, I feel. You can really sort of go, go to town with your scissors. And because it's paper, it's a lot more flexible. Natalie, Teresa says, have you ever thought of doing monochrome little books so they can be coloured in for people that don't stamp but would love the colouring in themselves? Well, we do have our colour bo uh, colouring books, don't we, that we do with them. Um, we do them in watercolour card um, and we do them in, which are kind of the same size because I think they're square, like little book size. So we do have them. I'm not sure what um, exactly you'd need to type into the website, but we do kind of kind of have them they're not under the little book brand but they are sort of the same size if you will okay so now with my knife I need to make sure I've got the super sharp one Angela says that she likes all chocolate so she doesn't have a favorite it's all of them which I, I totally I'd get probably have a f yeah a few right come options. on then so Emily what is your favorite chocolate bar Dairy milk caramel. Oh yeah, a caramel is a really good choice actually. And what would you go for now? Um, I'd either go for a whole nut caramel, a Cadbury's whole nut, or just to throw this one out there, a caramac. A caramac. <gasps> Old it? school. <laughs> caramac was great. They are mad, aren't they? I like caramac. You just don't find them anywhere. It's just an insane sort of choice of chocolate really okay guys what's your favorite old school chocolate bar old school yeah so um not one of the new ones not one of the the clever new things that's come out but even or even one of the ones that's been and gone maybe maybe there were there were some little i think they were called poppets right oh, and and so do you remember poppets they came in a little box didn't oh, they i remember those and the corner opened of the little box um, and, and you could empty them into your mouth. Um, I think you were meant to like put one in your hand and then eat it, but I just turned it box upside down and opened my mouth. And they, they have mint ones. And they were really, really tasty. They were nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this onto our card. So I'm just gonna trim this down and stick some tape on these bottom se side sections. And then we can hide, first of all, that join so if I put that centrally there and then flip it over oh Viv Nichols has got it here fries five bar 
if I remember I rightly, and is. I could be wrong, Viv will let me know, but I'm pretty sure that it was like each of the five segments was a different flavour. I think, I think so like one what was orange mean? and one was, do you know what I mean? So it was like a chocolate with like a sort of fondant on the inside. I, that is, what even is that? It was brilliant, it was really, really good. Can you still buy those? Cheryl says curly whirly. I'll tell you a secret. In our house, as long as the kids aren't watching, in our house, Debs has a bag in the um, in the dining room. It's just like an old bag from a, um, something that, that I bought her, and uh, and it's like really inconspicuous, yeah. But it's filled with curly whirlies, right? And the kids have no idea. And every now and then, a curly whirly appears, and it's like, where's that come from? And they've got no idea at all. It's just this. It's just this old bag. You're like. Just They'll stick, find stick out something soon, in a carrier bag and no one looks in it. Do you know what They'll I mean? Find it's one of those. Out soon. It's very clever. So I'm just trimming off that edge there because um, it was just overhanging slightly. Oh, dark chocolate bounty. <sighs> and then I'm going to stick my guitar on with foam pads so that lifts up ever so slightly from my background. Um, and you could have put some other elements on here. I am debating whether to put some records in the background actually um, but let's just see where we get to with this because I do have this one and then I could put this over the top it would make it a little bit more crazy actually but I think I quite like that so if I let's trim away these bits and I'm actually going to take this paper as well so I'm going to trim around my records and the paper um, and that will take some music notes off but it's not the end of the world with that it's just going to give us this nice feel and I, I'm just I've, that actually extends to here but I'm just taking it to the bottom of that bit there um, you because might just I, need to move it a little bit further forward sorry, that sorry. way you're cutting sorry hon just to um, I'll just go around that actually but this just goes back. to show how as you can chop into your little, little books as much as you want. Now remember, what we showed you right at the start of the show uh, was each of those three little books just matted onto a piece of mirror card. So there are 144 sheets in each of those little books. That means that if you get some mirror card, or, or indeed our mirror mats that are already cut to size, and you just, a bit of double-sided tape, pop them onto it, each of those gives you 144 toppers. It's it amazing. Does. Or you can, do, you can get so much more creative like Natalie is uh, and start creating your own sort of um, uh, collages and so on, which is what she's doing now. I know I was going to put that on there, but now I'm thinking it may be a bit too much. I'm not sure. Let's just go with this. Let's just go with this. We'll keep it a little bit more simpler. Uh, we could have stuck it on the background, but I thought that the colours didn't necessarily match up as much as I wanted them to. So we'll put that on there like so. We're gonna choose a sentiment. So I'm gonna go with, um, let's go with Music Makes Everything Better, which is this top one. So again, you can just cut these out. There's two sort of different lines because there's a white line which you could follow if you wanted to, um, which is the line I'm gonna follow. Or there is the line sort of further around it so you can kind of make a nice little mat if you want to as well. Um, you can stick this onto Miri so you could have it coming off but because I'm keeping this sort of um, quite neutral with not using any extras I'm just gonna cut around that line. Um, Natalie, I'm just looking at these new cutting dies that we've got. There's some exciting There's things some really really there. nice cutting dies here. We'll show you in a minute guys. So we're we'll nearly finished with trimming that now. And you have to be so careful with this. I should have really cut this out before um, because it takes quite a bit of time. You really have to sort of, something that you can't rush when you're cutting out sentiments like that. So then this I'm going to put here in this corner and then I'm going to add a nice little bow with the rest of this brown ribbon. So I think that's going to tie in quite nicely if I have that um, sort of over here. 
and it fills up a bit more space. You can always add different things if you want to. Like Dan says, there's so many different pages in here that would work. So you can really um, sort of add lots of different pieces depending on um, what you want to do. And then we're going to use our construction glue to stick this on. Natalie, I've got Ooh, so many cards made here glue. with the with the new little I know it's going to be so good to go lovely. through them and show everyone what everyone's done with these cards. So then, if we put that on, um, we can show you now that we've just made quite. It's quite a simple card. We've just used the background pages, one of those elements, and the sentiments. But you can see how amazingly it all works together, and how you can get quite creative and make larger cards with this as well, which I think is something that's exciting. Um, but it is time, everyone's favourite time on a Monday, especially when Dan's here. Um, it's the Hungry Dory headlines. Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory headlines. My name is Newsy McNews Reader. On Hunky Dory TV this week, there will be two more shows for you. Join us this Wednesday at 10 a.m. as we launch all new adorable, scorable pattern packs. This third launch boasts an incredible selection of must-have cardstock for you to get creative with. Another week will be over on Friday. Let's celebrate with another new launch. On Friday 12th of February, 10 a.m., if you're a lover of die cutting, you're going to love our brand new Moonstone Snippables. This just in, you should always knock on the fridge door before opening it, just in case there's a salad dressing. <laughs> yes. Stock updates. Springtime Wishes main decolage collection, the ultimate collection, the individual topper sets, plus the adorable scorable back in stock. Very good. What wonderful waterfall stamping essentials back in stock. Square easel fancy shaped card blanks back in stock. And also A3 adorable scorable and the brand new 2021 Core Colorways collection back in stock. In other news, so many people these days are too judgmental. I can tell just by looking at them. <laughs> now it's time for our thought of the week. Life is short. Smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I've been Newsman Newsreader, and that is the end of the Hunky Dory headlines. See you same time next week. <laughs> hey, there we go. Good morning, everybody. We're back in the room. Um, oh, yeah. Let's take a look at some of these gorgeous card models that have been made with the brand new little books. Oh, I love it when they've got names written on the back of them. I can see who's made them. So Rachel's popped this one together from our little book of kittens. Um, and she's done some fussy cutting in there and used the background that we said, that empty background, and then filled it with these gorgeous kittens and the butterflies. Very nice. Oh, that's lovely. So that's utilising a little bit of uh, adorable, scorable cardstock that no one's meant to know about yet because it only launches oh. on Wednesday. Very exciting. Sneak some, peeks. some people may have seen it on Create and Craft this weekend. Um, look at that. How cute is that? So that's Cat Hollis has made that. That's quite different, isn't it? Die cutting the um, the hearts in there and using different layers. I Just like goes that. to show what you can do with multiple because you get multiple sheets in the little book, six Very of each. Cute. Um, and it's very nice as well. So that shows that the A6 little books, if you prefer square cards, you can absolutely use the A6 little books 100%. to make square cards. 100%. It really works. Um, that's my favorite card of the day so far. I love that cat, well done. Ooh. I'll pop that to the side um, and we shall see. Very, very nice. Again, this is from Cat again. So she's done the same sort of thing where she's chopped up, uh, done the bit of fussy cutting and laid up all those, um, those cats or kittens, I should say, onto the background to create kind of a playground effect there, isn't it? It's very cute. Very and, cute. But it shows you how you can use those elements, which I think is nice. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. I love with the balloons. Again, decoupaging up, absolutely. And you can see that this adorable scorable cardstock that we've got in the background there goes so well with these little books. Really, really pretty. So that, they're the cat ones. One more to show you. I don't know who this is. It, it makes me think it's Sheila. <laughs> Definitely Sheila. Isn't that super? What do you think, everyone at home? Do you like that? It's 
very cute indeed, isn't it? <laughs> Again, that house. gorgeous, adorable, scoreable cardstock, which will launch on Wednesday, this here. Um, it's beautiful cardstock. There are going to be six new pattern pack sets. Um, but look at this little guy here chasing the butterfly. It looks like he's got the butterfly, like it's a butterfly balloon and he's got a little bit of acetate there, just holding it. Very cute, isn't it? Adorable. That is the kind of thing that you get from our superstar, Sheila Halliwell. Isn't that amazing? Love that, we'll put that to the side and I will show you our next little book, uh, which is the little book of fairy tale homes. Fairy tale houses, let me just double check. Fairy tale cottages, Daniel, come on. Um, home is my happy place. This is quite clever. There's a there's a little miry um, uh, easel stand there for this that holds it up, which is very good. I like I love the artwork on these. Again, a little bit of decoupage. Very very clever. You've got the door there that can actually open, which is super. Very cute. Very very love cute. That. Another one of my favourites there, I think. Um, here we go. So let the adventure begin. We've got an upside down. Let's stay home. We'll turn that the right way around. Lovely cards that have been made here. Some fantastic I think got all these models. The right Again, Cat Hollis. That's lovely, Cat. So that's really letting the artwork do the talking there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but again, look how amazing it looks with that cardstock. Really, really pretty. So this is Works more of the so well. new cardstock that's coming uh, that you can see. And here's yet more of the new cardstock. So you're getting a real sneak Ooh. peek here. That is the first one that I've seen that shows you one of the new uh, little book dies. So that is a frame die. Can you see how beautiful that is? Um, and that's been trimmed out of, or cut, die cut from Rainbow Miri card, which is something pretty special, isn't it? Look at that. I love it a lot. Uh, I don't know who that one is. It doesn't say on it. Uh, it's in with cats though, so it could well be cats. So that's quite simple, isn't it? But I like using, that though. It's using so the little cute. Ones. So cute, and Very it works cute. so well with that cardstock. Wow, look at that. Jane, you absolute star. Look at how beautiful that is. That is incredible. Dimension in here. You've got an acetate front that she's made herself, um, chopped into those borders and popped them around the sides. Very, very nice. And this again is more of the cardstock from the Adorable Scoreable Pattern Packs that you will see on Wednesday uh, when we launch it here. Um, last little se section to show you here, our musical instruments little book. But there's some great, great variety here. So isn't much there? variety, it's amazing. I can't believe the different types of styles and um, things we've got here. The team have done an amazing job. They have done an excellent job wow. in showing these off to their full potential. These cards are amazing. So that's brilliant. Again, chopping into those layers and, and adding those tapes on. They look real, don't they? Which is brilliant. I love this. So it really does work with collaging, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I think this is definitely a perfect little book to do that with, to really sort of throw things together because it just works so perfect. Very, very nice. So, so far, I think I'm on this one, which I adore. I love this one as well. Love this one. It's very, very clever. Uh, and then there was the, where's the one from um, my friend Jane here? Look at those guys, some very, very talented card makers uh, that we've got. Let's go across to Natalie for another demonstration. Okay, so this time we're going to use our Miri Cottages. Um, Miri Cottages? Why did I say that? Mm. Um, our cottages here. Um, so, what we're going to do, and you can see I've already layered these pieces up, but we're going to turn this into sort of a square image. So I'm going to cut this down and I'm going to take it to, if I just trim the bottom bit off and keep this to one side because we're going to use it again, um, then I'm going to take it down to two, not, uh, can I do that? Two notches below the four? If I take it, I can do that. It is going to top cut the head off. What we'll do is we'll do something that I love to do. We'll just trim up to, up to that point and then we'll cut around it. And then I think we need to take off a little bit from each side so because these are a six so if I take two off from that and then spin that around and take another two off that makes it sort of that the image will stay equal okay I'm just I think enough time has gone now for me to be able to say that if you are a super sleuth and we have a number of super sleuths oh no. uh, viewers who, who watch us uh, and you love to know what is coming up on hunky-dory in the future 
Natalie did away. give away a uh, yeah a little hint and tip about something that is coming up so far ahead. That's at the why. beginning of March, I think is it? I think, I think so. I yeah, it's been in March. There is something rather special, um, but it's just a little hint and tip that she gave. Okay, so we're going to cut this. Um, this is some of our new matte. Uh, Adorable scrubble. Look at the colour. And I'm going to cut out, I'm going to use one of my dies that we're going to show you very, very shortly. I'm just going to cut this to, um, to five and three quarters and then that should fit my die in perfectly. So let's put that on here and if I just stick this down with a little bit of tape just so it's secure um, and it doesn't move, can I find the end of this tape? We just want a tiny bit. It can be really tricky. This can't tape it? has sort of like got so many different layers now. This might just be enough um, if I put it across like this. Do you know when you get a tape and then you rip it and then you rip it again and it just has like millions and millions of layers? That's what's happened here. So we'll put this on our plates. Now, these are our midi plates and they have actually come apart, but it's okay because we can use them. Um, and I think someone asked the other day that the same had happened to theirs, so they were hoping that they would bring out spare plates. I don't know if they've done that yet, but we definitely need some. They will do, I'm sure. So we'll just run it through. So you love this manual I Gemini, do. Don't it's you? really, really good. And even with these big dies, I'm just running it back through just to go over it a second time, but it did take some pushing through to get that through that. So I'm hoping it's cut quite well the first time and it has. It's absolutely amazing for a die that is quite detailed like this one. Um, it's done a phenomenal job of popping that through. We need a die brush. Do we have one? I'm um, not sure. I think I shall I see if I can locate you one. No, there might be one. Possibly on my desk. But on your desk? Shall, we'll I, shall just, I go wandering? Yeah. Or ask Rachel. Rachel might be able to find you one. She's in the in the office. So we can just pop these out. You can just pop them out with your fingers, to be honest. Or just give the paper a little bit of a flick and they will all come out. Um, we've right, got I've, I've mouthed the word dye brush. Have you? Which, which I think looks like I love you when you're mouthing it. <laughs> okay, so... We've got that. We'll leave that to one side just while we'll come, we're come. we waiting a little moment. With my Miri, I'm going to cut this to six by six. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley, our little superstar, has Yay. brought us this. And then we're going to do... Um, is that... What's that one? No, we need to do it this way around. So if I... And we're going to do three by six because we're going to make a little fold back. And then I've got some beautiful red as well. And we're going to do um, okay, let's sanitize two that. notches under the six. And then we're going to do two notches below the three. So that's going to give us um, sort of our mats and layers with that gold. So then what we can do, thank you very much, Dan, is take our six by six card blank. And have we got, yes we do. Wow, Carol Lewis, I'm reading there's some great comments today. People are having a right good chat. Um, Carol Lewis says that her friend used to be one of the models in the Cadbury, it says flame ads. I think she mean, means flake ads. Really? You know, the, the um, only the, that one. No way. No. Oh no, you two won't know. Can you pass me? Can you? Can you? Which would you like? I just need a score tool. There's not one in here. There's no score tool in no, here. No, but there's one in that scoreboard just there behind you. Okay, I'll pass you the whole can scoreboard. We just have the whole scoreboard. Go. Today's turning out to be a great day, isn't it's it? Be, it's an interesting one. There I we go. Everything's gone missing. So we're going to score that at three, like so. So we have our fold back now, and then we can put all of our layers together. I'm actually going to put this back in here so it doesn't go missing. And I, then think, I think I'm way behind on the comments because everyone's still talking about, um, about uh, chocolate, but Turkish delight, someone's mentioned. Oh, do you know what? <gasps> <clears throat> 
I do quite like a Turkish delight. Again, that was fries, wasn't it? Fries, Turkish yeah, delight. Yeah, yeah, you can buy them. You can buy them in a six pack for like Which a pound. Which is amazing. But there's something else about Turkish delight. You get it um, in in like uh, different colours, and with loads of. Um, like I was, the... was going to say talc. <laughs> it's not talcum powder, is it? No, it's like cornstarch, isn't it? Oh, is it? I don't know. I think oh, it's so. ice and sugar. Yeah, ice yeah, sugar. yeah. That like loads of ice and sugar all over it. Oh, stuff. in really pretty sort of boxes. Very nice. Tastes good. Very nice. Tastes really good. Okay. Lots of people saying Switzerland for the place that eats the most chocolate per capita. Well, we just... I, I don't know whether it will be, you know. Not I sure. think it's going to be a trick question, that. Because do they actually eat as much if they've invented something? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh. do you actually... Oh, do you know what I found out? Do you know where... Um, I don't know if this is real oh. or not, but where, where French fries came from? No. Belgium. Really? I believe so. I believe that French fries came from Belgium. Anyway, let's put that. Sorry about that. Don't know where where that came from. Let's pop this back up. So we would uh, to be with the chance of winning once one of our large paper oh, trimmers. Yeah. We're going to give five of those away this week. Uh, they're worth nineteen pounds ninety nine each. We love to give a hundred quid's worth of goodies away every each and every week here at Hunky Dory TV. Uh, on Friday, we're going to give five of these away. We'd like you to like, share, and comment. Which country consumes the most chocolate per capita? Per person, which country consumes the most chocolate? Is it A, Switzerland, B, Germany, or C, the United Kingdom? Do you think it's Whatever, a it's European. It and is. do you know why? Do you know why that is? That's because all the people in America are very disappointed with chocolate. And do you know why all the people so. in America are disappointed with chocolate? No. I'm going to say it. Because Hershey's is not good chocolate. It's not. I'm so sorry. I know I went there, but it isn't. I've ever, well, I can't because it's got biscuit in it, hasn't it? Oh, Hershey's. so you can't have it? No, so I can't have Hershey's chocolate. All oh, right. I think it has biscuit in it. I don't, think, I don't know that it does. I'm but not Hers sure. I, I, I Maybe some of it does. We got those Hershey's and we got like a massive, great big bag thing of them. And by the end of it, I knew I didn't like them. Oh, wait. Her, like Hershey's cake? <laughs> well like, done, Emily. She got it. <laughs> I think I might have had them, actually. I'm not sure. They're little, um, like not, the ki not Hershey's, teardrops. the kisses. The kisses, that's it. Hershey's yeah, kisses. I have had them before. Yeah, they're not, they're not all that in a bag of chips, you know. Oh, that in a bag of chips. They're not. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So we're going to stick this on here so that when it folds, you have that main image there. Then with my bit that I cut out before, I did have a Miri mat. I had it. It was cut down. Is it here? Oh, Natalie. There we go. Perfect. People might remember this. I, you won't, Nat, because you, um, you're too young, I think. But recording music off the radio onto your cassette. No, yeah, I'm too young for that. Right, OK. Well, I do well, have a cassette recorder, though. The Top 40 was on, on, I think it was Sundays. I think Sunday afternoon, the Top 40 was on, right? And if, so you, you got, you've got um, record and play. You've got to press record and play to record. And you've got pause, right? And if you can time it just perfectly, you miss they the stop chat. speaking just before the song comes on. You can record the song and make it sound as if you own that song <laughs> when clearly you didn't. And if they started speaking over the end of the song, you'd be livid. <laughs> this is very true. Other people will have done it at home, I'm sure. Then because I need a little bit to go behind here, actually, I might just be able to stick it. If I use some red liner tape, I can just stick that in that gap. So let's get that red liner tape. Um, can I find it? Here we go. So if I put red liner tape, and I'm going to put it actually directly on here. I'm just going to stick it on that really tiny edge that you've got on your die. Um, I should have maybe cut my square a little bit bigger, um, but that's what happens when you're sleep deprived. <laughs> so our team, we'd have been watching that um, last night, but we chose not to. Our, our team went out yeah. in the semi-finals, so Green Bay Packers are but our he, team. But he did get the MVP, did you see that? I did, really? Yeah, Aaron Rodgers got the MVP. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I don't know how Tom Brady is an MVP. Well... Who knows, but yeah, I think it was deserved, but. Uh, most valuable player. Yeah, MVP. yeah, MVP. Natalie's our MVP. For sure. I was just about to say that myself, but. <laughs> if you have to say it yourself, Natalie, you know it's not true. No, you know it's definitely true if you've got to tell, 
people. <laughs> so, if I've once I've removed this, there we go. Loads of people oh. saying that they used to record uh, record the. Um, my mum used to do that from for the sure. radio. I know the top that mum used to do yeah, that. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was super. And being livid when the DJ starts speaking. <laughs> it's really true. Carol says that she lives out about two miles from a Bassett sweet factory and it smells oh, gorgeous. Oh, that would be yummy, wouldn't it, if you lived there? So now we've got our little piece on, I can use my the back panel here where I've not got anything sort of going on and I can stick just to inside this sort of middle zone. So if you want to get your little books, guys, you can do that at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. That's the website. Uh, if you jump on there, you'll see a banner straight away as soon as you get on there with the uh, that'll take you to the new little books. Um, there are also a cornucopia of previous little books. Uh, yeah. Some stunning That's little some books. Great ones. Little book of thank yous. I'm just reading through them now. Little book of flower children. Little book of promises. Yeah. Oh, that's very cute. The little book of flourishing floor. The little book of perfect planet. Love it. Then I had some little layers. I was going to put that on there, but then I just saw to the side. I've cut all these layers out. So we're going to decoupage up my house, which I've cut out and will fit perfectly on top of here. And we've so we've got one layer with the little mushrooms. Then I've got the layer with the front mushrooms and the house. I don't know if this is true, Catherine, but I don't doubt Catherine because Catherine is a truthful lady. Catherine okay. says Switzerland has approximately 8.8 .8 kilograms of chocolate consumed per person each year. 8.8 .8 kilograms, right. Well, that that's can, not a lot, you know. That means Switzerland can't be the, the most that's because not a lot. I, I eat that in a week. over here. Yeah, I was thinking that. That has to be. That's not, that can't be right. Um, am I going to keep this red bit on? Jeanette named Jeanette named her second cat Toby after the Toblerone chocolate bar. To that's a good name for a cat. That's commitment. That that's commitment name. to the Toblerone cause, <laughs> isn't it? I bought um, I bought Grandad, so Deborah's dad, a um, uh, I can't remember what size it was, but uh, like the biggest Toblerone ever, and it was ginormous. Was honestly, it huge? yeah, yeah, yeah. So people are still eating it now. It was like two years ago, but it's, <laughs> honestly, it, it was that big. And the joy of the biggest Toblerone ever was that when you opened it, it was you know it was it was massive. It weighed I can't remember how many pounds or kilograms it weighed. It was humongous, um, and it was quite obvious. You know, there was no way to hide what it was when it was wrapped. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was quite obviously, obviously a, a blooming large Toblerone. <laughs> But the joy about this Toblerone is you, you open the packaging, you open it up, and it was one massive Toblerone. Because it wasn't loads of little ones. No, because I've been caught out by that. You know, where, where you buy like a massive chocolate bar, but yep. actually it isn't. It's just loads of small ones packed in together. And then you get home and you're livid. You still eat them all, but you're livid. <laughs> you're less livid when you've had five. So I'm going to put that centrally on that background. This is lovely now. And then you've got your main image sort of like in there. So once the, when you get receive the card, it kind of looks like this. But then once you've brought that out, you've got that whole sort of really nice image there. And then just in the background, you've got your sentiment. So depending on how you sit that on your thingy, you'll be able to see that fully. I love the cutting die. I mean, the, the it's the, just amazing, and it, I think the pattern goes really well with the collection. It? The artwork of the of the little book on the little books there is beautiful. Uh, I love the sentiment on the background. I love the red that you've used there because it really sort of picks yeah, out that mushroom house. I was trying to really mix the colours that match as well, and these colours are straight from our twenty twenty one selection, and they work just just perfectly. So that twenty twenty one selection, guys, will be available. The adorable scoreable will be available for the next two years. So we hold our adorable scoreable colours for two years before we refresh them. So you'll be able to, to create that card at home using those exact pieces of card yep. that Natalie's used. And that 20, 2021 Adorable Scorable selection is back in stock. Um, it's a, I don't know if you've got the SKU up, but it's a fantastic, the, the product name up, um, it's a fantastic uh, a bundle. I think it's £11.99 for 50 sheets. Um, it's brilliant. There's 25 different colours and you get two of each. Um, okay, shall we take a look at our next product? Uh, this There are two different sets of Moonstone dies that we've just brought out now, they're only launching today, um, to go with little books. 
Uh, first off, there is the A6 selection. Uh, the, the, there you go, the data's coming up on screen. So the rose corner frame Moonstone die, which it's is beautiful. this one. Beautiful. There's your die, as you can see. But the easiest way, the best way for me to show you is like this. How gorgeous is Absolutely that? Absolutely stunning. Isn't that really attractive? Even to just use by itself with that sentiment, maybe create a shaker card from that. Um, it's just beautiful. Really, really pretty. You get the thank you in there, which is lovely. You get the butterflies in there as well. So I don't, they're not actually shown on here. Oh, they've fallen off. They, they were oh, here, no. you could see where they were. Um, so yeah, there are butterflies as well that you get in there. It's a really good set, £19.99. Uh, then there is the frame that Natalie was using earlier. Uh, this gorgeous frame and you get two different sizes as well which is really nice you get the happy birthday and then now what's this for at the bottom so this is for you to place your happy birthday onto yes yes so you can um i think you can actually die cut because your happy birthday is a die is a cut in die ah, so you so can you lay can... your happy birthday up onto that panel makes and perfect cut directly sense. the happy birthday out of it isn't that is really lovely? nice there's one of those butterflies just um that's from the other one so it shouldn't really be on there it's uh it's playing away, I don't know, but anyway, £19.99 each of these. Now these are, they're auto, they automatically go into the deal, the multi-buy deal of any two for £34.98. So you can get both of these together for £34.98, which is brilliant. Now those are the ones that go with the A6 little books. Let me show you some brand new dies that go with the 5x5 little books. So we have two, two different sizes of Two books. different sizes. These are the five by five ones, uh, which uh, many, many, many people will have at home. Um, and these are these dies are perfectly sized to work with them. Look at the intricacy there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, for you sending love, which is very, very nice. And let's take a look at that one. So these are all the dies that you get. Again, you've got the same thing here where you've got this uh, this outline and you've got the uh, of the hexagon and you've got the, the cut in for you there as well. Lovely corner here as well that you can use. Very pretty. And the other one is this, uh, which is the vintage fili uh, filigree frame. That's so right. a lovely vintage selection here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six dies in here. Have a lovely day. I love the, uh, the, the way that on the inside of this frame it's intricate and on the outside of this frame it's intricate. Yeah, it'll look really good when you layer that up, won't it? Absolutely, you can use them together. Uh, you've got this gorgeous corner detail down here as well, which also looks like a fan, doesn't it? So again, £19.99 per set, or you can get both for £34.98. In fact, you can mix and match this size die, the large size dies, you can mix and match um, throughout our whole website and for and get two for thirty four ninety eight. Uh, Natalie, yes. Are we going to come across to you for our last demo for of the day? For our last demonstration, yeah, we're going to use that beautiful kitten um, little book. It's absolutely adorable, and we're going to do again. We're going to make a different size card from what we have ava um, available. So this time we're going to do a um, four by eight. So I've got some blue. Um, Adorable Scorable. This again is from our 2021 selection. And we're going to lay this straight onto that card blank. And then I have a Miri mat, which I have cut to um, three and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So that's going to give us a nice um, blue edge as well. And that's going to go directly onto our blue. I'm just going to check that I have. I cut this before just make sure I've definitely cut that to the right size before we stick it on yep so we'll pull that off again and then I'm gonna make like um, a new baby card here um, so let's stick this on there we go so that is gonna be um, the front of our card then I'm taking the cat, which is sort of going up into the air, and this background page, and we're gonna extend it. So first of all, I'm gonna stick, I'm not sure how much, so this is obviously gonna go straight at the top. So let's start by cutting this one down actually, so then we have the right size. So this needs to be um, two notches over three and a half. So if I take that two, four straight away on both sides that's at four then if i do 
this on that side. That's going to take us to two notches under the four. So then I can do that once again on that side. I do this all the time and I'm sure there's an easier way to do it, but I want to make sure that it's equal. So I do this crazy thing where I just turn my cardstock each way until it is the size that I want it to be, which should be perfect. So you've got a nice white e silver edge there running along the whole side of your cardstock. It's very thin, um, but it is there. And, and then, that's what you're looking for, yeah? Yeah. And then I'm going to stick this onto here now i don't think i do want the grass in but i don't want all of it so if i put my card blank open and i want this to be again two notches above seven and a half so if i lay that down like so then i can pop this underneath and because you've got those clouds in there it's probably best if we trim it just to here because it's going to miss that off and then we are going to have some green so if i trim that down there and then i turn that keeping everything together hey natalie hey. i've just seen in the comments that zoe is going to become a grandmother today oh how lovely that's is really that? exciting so she says her daughter's having a granddaughter today she's just gone in now so good luck from us Definitely. and congratulations for later yes how fabulous how exciting. New babies are ace, aren't they? They are, they're really, they're really exciting. We um, got the news at the weekend that my sister is having a little boy. Oh! Yeah. So we did think, I think quite a lot of us thought that it was gonna be um, a girl, because my Nana had tricked us and said that she'd had a weird vision that it was <laughs> gonna be a girl. Um, so we, I was Why on not? like the, oh, this is gonna be great, because we already, me and Dan have already have two nephews, so we're going to have a little girl. It's going to be so much fun. Um, but no, another little boy to run around, cause lots of mischief, um, and have a massive debate on what football team it's going to support. Absolutely. Which in my family is definitely going to happen. Um, so then what I've done is I've cut around that image, leaving a nice um, sort of edge around, not directly cutting under it. You can see there that I've got that nice blue edge. So let's stick this on so i'm just going to use a few foam pads to do that and then we can stick that on oh sue's just said something that's made me very hungry are you ready walnut whip Ooh. oh oh i do quite love like a walnut, walnut whip. whip i do quite like walnut oh. whips are super so then with my scissors we're going to first of all cut directly around the balloons and I'm taking I'm not going to do the bottom bits I'm just going to take the circles uh, because then it's going to give more dimension so this time we're running that directly around um, those balloons and we're going to take all let's actually let's take it take the yellow one off and we'll leave the green ones on there So this is just loads of different ways that you can create different shaped cards. So I love that you've done one. this today now because it's um, it it shows how if you think outside the box. I know I, I hate the words outside the box, but if you think a little bit differently or you want to to have something different, you can turn these little books into pretty much anything that you want. You really can. Um, which just shows the, the, the versatility of, of little books. They're, yeah, uh, they're an amazing product, really. If you've got super artwork, which all the little books have, then then you're, you're, you're away, away, really, aren't you? You really are. Um, and these three, I think, are really quite nice. They're a great mix. They're totally different, really, which I love, because you've got something in there for everyone. Um, so let's just take the kit, kitten's hand and its little face. Remember guys, if there are two, one or two of these little books that you love but you're not as keen on the other, do not worry, you can still get that fabulous three for two deal across all of the little books on our website at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Uh, you'll be able to find the little books in the category section and, uh, and I don't know how many there are, I've got lots of them, I must have 15 or 20 here, I've just knocked a load of them over, I do apologise. Um, and also you get those wonderful Miri mats as well, 
Uh, they're really, really, from a convenience perspective, oh, they're, they're so good. They're sized perfectly, so they're just oversized, which means that you pop your uh, your sheet of, of little book that you've just pulled out of your book, um, you pop it onto the center of it, and you'll get a lovely little border all the way around the outside, be that gold, silver, or indeed the lovely rainbow color. So then we can pop our balloons on top of each other, and then we'll lay that onto our main image that we've created here. So again, you'll still get that nice um, outline that we cut from before, and then our cat's head will just pop on top. Um, we can stick this now onto our card blank. And then I looked through the sentiments, because there are some nice ones that say congratulations on your special day, but there was none that were specific for, um, like, for a little boy or a little girl, but we do have that in our little book of sentiments. So somewhere around here in my pile, here it is, is um, it's a baby, it's a beautiful baby boy, it reads. So we can pop that on our foam pads and then stick that just in this bottom corner. And if you wanted to, because there is this sort of more obvious line that you can see, if you wanted to, you could add some um, ribbon just to hide that. Um, but there you go, another different size card using your um, smaller little books. I love that, Natalie. That's three very different cards, and thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, okay, everybody, and that is pretty much all that you are going to uh, spend time with us for today, um, which is a shame because uh, I've had a really good time. Uh, let's see, Wednesday is our next show, and I'm just going to show you this just uh, one more time because this gives you a little bit of a sneak as to what we're going to be showing you on Wednesday. This and it is, was the best seller, you know, that one. This was the best seller, was it? That was it? the best Possibly seller. Possibly because of this. First. Oh, did it sell out first? So yeah. we had sellouts as well. I've not even, I've not seen the numbers yet, Ooh. but uh, I'm sure they'll go very, very well because there's some beautiful, adorable, scorable pattern packs launching with us here at Hunky Dory TV on Wednesday, 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. Please do come and join us. Um, we hope you've had a nice time today. Natalie has made three beautiful cards there. Uh, so I will say a thank you very much for being with us and a goodbye. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye from Nat. Bye. And bye from Emily. Bye. And bye from me. You take care, guys.